Prodigal Steve returns to the darkest dungeon. How's it going, everybody? Last week, we did a dark run to prove that we still could. Felt all right. We made a decent amount of money. Had the opportunity to fight a Shambler, but we had no torches ever on the run. Despite going to the ruins, we didn't even find a torch curio. So did unfortunately miss out on the opportunity to gain another ancestral trinket but it is what it is again i don't really want to fight shamblers in level six dungeons i would much rather take a party of level twos to the ruins ideally get stress faster locked in on all of them and then just walk around with zero torchlight until we find a shambler but that's way too grindy for a YouTube series, so I'm not going to worry about it. What I am going to worry about is this week. We're going back to the ruins. We're taking the Abomination Party, and this should level everybody up, right? Yeah, definitely those two. Medium Veteran is exactly six experience, if I remember correctly. This whole team should level up. Okay, well, fingers crossed. If not, I guess we could just take the, the two that don't level, uh, these two, into a short champion dungeon whenever we get one of those. Um, I considered running bosses, but I, I couldn't really put together a party that I felt comfortable with for either of those bosses. At least not yet. So I instead went ahead and submitted Teleboy and Drew for a little bit of stress relief. Uh, 20 and 23 stress. Not really pressing, but I would like them both in top condition for next week, should we choose to use them. So we're going to be running the Seer Stone and the Rampart Shield here on our Man at Arms. I want the extra scouting since this is a Gather Three Holy Relics. Mission just so we can really spot the quest locations as soon as possible. Obviously, I'm in love with stunning things, and therefore, I'm going to increase my ability to do so at every opportunity. We have our Abomination with the Ruins Tactician in rank 2 with the Restraining Padlock and the Padlock of Transference. Just in case we want to transform one of them, we'll be able to transform the one with a higher damage output. Then obviously Lock of Fury and the Padlock of Transference back here on our rank 3 Abomination who is fairly exclusively going to be using Manacles and Beast Bile and the occasional Absolution as necessary. Ancestor's Map and Junius Head back here on our Occultist. We are able to prevent nighttime ambushes should it be required that we camp. Uh, I'm going to bring two stacks of torches just to have. Two shovels is probably more than enough. I'm going to bank on finding a couple of uh, treasure boxes, but I always do, and that doesn't always play out. After last time, I do kind of want to bring more holy water to the ruins, just because we found so many ashes. Alright, as always, let's do a check. We have food, torches, shovels, keys, supply items. I think we're set. Probably going to have some inventory problems moving forward, but that's not necessarily the end of the world. I think we'll be able to manage. Alright, there we go. Power in symbols. Collect the scattered scraps of no scouting, huh? This is more than a little surprising to me. It's also very unfortunate. This is a much longer dungeon than I expected it Even to be, if I'm stone seems bent on being honest. Passage. I'm glad that we brought 16 torches, but I'm regretting only bringing two shovels at present. Alright, still with this uh, idle animation bug that I've as of yet been unable to troubleshoot, but... It is what it is. Oh, we're definitely going to level up this week because we have uh, increased resolve XP. Fantastic. They both dodged that, huh? Okay, well, 
Let's just do that. Looking at eight damage. Okay, that's fine. I do wish that hadn't happened. Alright, well, you're gonna die on your next action, so. I hope you got your money's worth on that first one. You're looking at four. This is gonna be eight. I would love... Yeah, okay, I wasn't really expecting that, but I'll certainly take it. Alright, so that's two of the three remaining have been taken care of, and apparently our man-at-arms simply cannot resist critting. Obviously, we're not going to have room for heirlooms, so I'm not going to concern myself with it. Curio, Curio. I think we have to go this way. But this is this is gonna be an interesting mission, I think. First battle went very, very well, surprisingly well, actually. Oh, please. Curio, Curio, empty, okay. There's a quest location, there's a quest location. So I went the exact wrong direction. We have the opportunity to fight this extra battle for no gain other than what we get from the battle. Alternatively, we can just take some stress and walk backwards and head towards our quest locations, and I think that's what I'm going to do, just because the abominations do have the ability to heal their own stress. So we'll go ahead and do that. I appreciate that these treasure rooms are so closely linked. All right, well, we do obviously have to go that way, but I think the smart play is here, here, and then up. Um... But you know what? Two hallway battles isn't actually that bad. So we'll go ahead and check this out. Yeah, that was well worth the cost of doing business. Uh, I'm actually going to burn two torches here before this fight. We're still looking at 13 torches, which is excellent. I'm tempted to do some stuns, but honestly, they don't have that much HP. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm glad that that finally did hit. Would have been nice to get our second stack of blight before these two moved. Um, but it wouldn't have killed either of them, so it's not all that important. You know, it, it doesn't really matter that it didn't work out that way. It is slightly disappointing, but, you know, we can live with it. Um, I don't want to kill him outright. Because I don't want to leave a corpse. But I don't think there's really an option. So there we go. We, we did get lucky and we didn't kill him with our... man-at-arms there, so these two are for sure going to die. So I guess we stun you. That does so much damage. I love it. Don't love that as much. Uh, never mind. Rescind my most recent statement. Alright, um... take this opportunity to heal a little bit. Specifically, we need to heal our man-at-arms. He's in the, the roughest position out of everybody. So if you could actually stun this gentleman, I would greatly appreciate it. Unlikely to require your services on this turn, so... Let's go ahead and do that. 
I'm actually very surprised that uh, we got the stun there. I genuinely expected that he would resist it. I just wanted the uh, the damage there. So we'll get that sweet, sweet weakening curse kill, which is much beloved by yours truly. Take our gold. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Go ahead and shift that around. Okay, well, I'm very glad that I, I opted to do that hallway fight. Okay. Uh, I was a little confused about why we scouted that, and then it occurred to me that we're probably only two rooms away from that, which is exactly the case. So it makes complete sense that we would uh, be able to scout that. Okay, sure. Well, let's start with a stun. Then we'll transform because we don't really have another choice. This moves you forward, knocks them back, reduces their dodge, reduces their speed. Reduced damage modifier. Um, I think we just want to rake here. And then weakening curse. Not that the collector actually does that much damage on his own. We're looking at 169% to stun. Almost. Might actually be a mathematical guarantee that it's not going to happen. position really so I guess we have to try for this stun but mostly I just wanted some additional damage there that's fantastic break would love for our man at arms to go before you but that's fine stun that thing and actually move the collector into blight range, which is you know, lovely for us. All right, so you're looking at four, you're down to 34 HP. Attack both of those two in the back. Uh, you no longer have stun resist. So I guess we might as well stun you. It does push you back, which is unfortunate, but it'll largely be Okay. Well, go ahead and transform back. And then blight these two. Nine, six, four. We'd have to rely on the occultist to kill the collector next round. Assuming we don't desperately need healing, which we shouldn't since we are running two abominations. Blow. Largely, they can handle healing themselves. Oh, but here we go. This is actually, um... Oh, never mind. Of course, he's going to collect call. I think we mostly just want a lot of blight here. Okay, well, the collector is gone either way. Maintain the offensive. Oh, buddy, you're in a bad spot, huh? Okay, well, that is supremely unfortunate for you, but to ensure that you do, in fact, die, we're going to have to stun the Vestal. I would like to get rid of that bleed. You know what? Heal yourself there, actually. Appreciate you resisting that. Two more, two additional damage compared to what we've already taken is 
basically irrelevant, I think. Ah, you can only transform into your beast form once per battle. I actually did not know this. It's lovely information to have, though. Alright, so we should be able to kill that Vestal. That's exactly what happened. Now we're really just on cleanup detail, so... Not overly concerned about what's going on here. Continually onslaught. Sure. I would have liked to be able to use an absolution on our rank two Seize this momentum. Push abomination, but it's not the end of the world that we didn't quite get there. All right. Well, what do we toss? I. Well, that was not necessary, but really didn't think about that. You know, it's only two damage. Sure. Would have been nice to have saved that uh, holy water for that curio, but it is what it is. Right, we're going to have to do this too, aren't we? Well, obviously this isn't going anywhere. It's worth 5,000 gold. For now, we'll ditch the anti-venom. Unlikely to be necessary, but we'll uh, see how we feel a little bit later here. We're actually doing very well considering we've already fought a collector. The Abomination Party is so, so strong. I was reading an AMA, sort of. It wasn't really an AMA, it was a. Uh, I don't want to say guide either. It was a Reddit post from someone who beat Stygian mode in 16 weeks, which is ludicrous. And apparently, their party for the first Darkest Dungeon mission, they didn't go into specifics about battles or uh, anything of that nature in the post. They just listed what they upgraded each week and then their, their parties for the Darkest Dungeon missions. Apparently, their party for the Darkest Dungeon... Mission number one was actually three abominations and, and a houndmaster, I believe. So I guess that's a viable party as well. But I think that really goes to show how strong abominations can be. That uh, three of them can be used. And I think they were like level three to uh, take out one of the darkest dungeon missions. Not really willing to spend my last shovel on that, so I think we just move along here. Please don't. All right, what do we have in here? Probably combat, the right? Is struck. A blazing star is born. Not combat, but also not scouting. Very unfortunate. Lady Gladly take an extra torch. We are still at eight supplies. torches, so that's a, a non-issue moving forward here. That's a little annoying. Ancient traps lie in wait. All right, well, no One bleed, thankfully. For blood. But a little bit more stress than I would have liked. Of course, it's, you know, stress on an abomination, so... Could be relatively easily cured. Go ahead and finish this quest. Keep adventuring. I'm not married to the idea of checking out these ashes without any remaining holy water. But I will go the rest of the way to this room just to uh, save us the stress damage from walking backwards. Which I think is ever so slightly more than stress damage you would take just from walking through a hallway to begin with. So, As the light gains don't purchase, necessarily need to be so and purpose is made clear. Um, quick on the torches, I don't think. Could probably save those a little bit longer here moving forward, but we're obviously not going to need nearly as many since we're walking through lit hallways. 
I'm going to just go down this route. And I might just go through this route. And then I'll get that treasure and that treasure. And then maybe call it a mission. See how I feel after those instances of combat. Uh, obviously, don't have a shovel. And I'm not willing to spin, spend one of our two keys. So that cabinet is going to remain untouched, especially because we've already tossed the anti-venom. Not thrilled about this battle, but... We've already had this exact setup in this dungeon, and we know it's not that heinous. Okay, uh, the Occult is basically just guaranteed two kills there, and by basically I mean literally. He did outright kill one and ensured that this second one is going to die to his blight, so... Feel pretty alright about not having healed with him that turn. That's another death, so we're just gonna have to do some absolution on this turn while we still have the ability to quote-unquote stall, although stalling isn't strictly what we're doing here. Yeah, you're gonna go ahead and absolve yourself as well, just to get the stress damage down. I'm less concerned about your HP, much more concerned about your stress, and then we'll start whittling away at this gentleman. And we could probably just manacle him down, if I had to guess. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Okay. Very, very simple combat. Again, not interested in that. Yeah, you know what? I'll burn a torch. It doesn't really matter. Oh, okay, sure. If we... truly desired... stalling, we could leave these two in the front alive. The ground quakes. Okay. Well... I don't think we need to stall, though, right? 6, 1, 14. I would like to get an absolution off on you. Okay, it's 6 HP. There's nothing I can do about that until the occultist's turn rolls around, though, so... Maybe just stun one of you and then stun the other one with the man-at-arms? Never mind. We'll just uh, smack this one with the man-at-arms, then. Destroy. Beautifully done. And that actually moves you into position to be manacled to death. Lovely. All right. Should be, yeah, the end of that combat. Assuming the man in arms didn't miss there. All right, well, we only have four torches. This is going to take exactly four to get us back up to full, but that's fine. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder... Go ahead and do that. Take the gold. Take the gold and ditch everything else. And then move this way. The most important thing is that we have full torchlight for this battle. And that isn't even... that important, necessarily. It's just nice. Pretty good chance to just kill you outright, but I think I'd rather stun you and guarantee that nobody takes damage here. Hate that. Alright, you're the most annoying, so you have to go. Although, I suppose I should have blighted those two instead. Didn't end up mattering, so... Technically misplayed there, so but wasn't punished resistance. for it, so I'm not going to bother to learn a lesson. That's not true. I'm, I've made note of it, so... I'm just moving a little quick here, simply because... Not really being challenged on this mission so far. Uh, which isn't that surprising, if I'm being honest, since it is... The Abomination Party, and... They're fairly talented at doing what they do. What do we have in here? Yes, 
Yes, yes, not interested. We have just a ton of gold here. Stacked up. The entire bottom row actually is gold. Uh, despite this being a collect mission, I don't think there's anything else that I'm interested in. We could try and do this room battle, but uh, not that invested in that. I am going to camp. Um, a moment of respite, a chance to steal oneself. I guess just to get rid of the the stress, right? So we'll go ahead and do that. Everybody is going to take stress damage. Do we not have... Hmm. Okay, well, maybe camping in this case was actually a bad idea. All right, 10, 7, 6. I guess we'll just do that. And that. And then I don't suppose... We have... Yeah, no. There's no other way to uh, reduce stress, so we did leave six stress on our man-at-arms, which is worse than the three stress we would have had just on the abomination, but it's also largely irrelevant. So let's head back to the hamlet here. Tokens of hope recovered from the encroaching dark. Yeah, just north of, uh, well, it's what, like 22,000? A little bit better. Two diseases. Everybody did level up, but come on. Vertigo and bad humors. Okay, well, this party's out of commission for next week, which is Take advantage of this not really what I want to see. It will not last. All right, you two don't have any quirks that need to be handled. You'll only meditate. All right, well, let's go ahead and do this first. But as always, unequip all trinkets, sort them, medical ward. Please treat bad humors. And vertigo. And then we'll go to the abbey. You'll only meditate, so obviously you go ahead and do that. What about you? You have no issues doing anything. Might as well do that then. All right, can we sort the party by stress? Hang on. Let's go back. Seven, six, one. Wow, okay. Well, nothing I'm interested in there or there. So that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. As always, feedback is welcome in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time.